spelt bream but pronounced brim in Australia. It's one of our favourite species and baiting is a very effective way of catching some. Jump on board, let's see if we can go and hassle a few. Catching brim on baits is all about finding concentrations of fish and places where they're likely to feed. Shallow water flats like this at high tide are awesome underneath a little bit of cloud and a bit of wind, but if the sun's up, look for hard structure that throws a little bit of shade. Places like your boat ramps, your jetties, your rock walls, anywhere where there's a bit of obstruction of current, you'll find them. Burley's the key ingredient to catching brim on baits, whether it's man-made like your breads, get it out there, chop the bits of pilchard, good smell in the water, Recipe is a little bit routinely. Won't be long for you'll have those fish around you and your baits. Brim are opportunistic feeders and they'll take all range of baits, whether it's man-made or natural. Here's a good selection of baits that I may take on a day's brim fishing. A man-made variety, good old bread. Don't ignore things like cheese. Head to the butchers and get yourself some chicken. They love that as well. If you want to get into the fish type of baits, good oily baits like your pilchards, strips of bonito, the good old mullet, cut into strips or mullet gut are fabulous baits to use for your brim. And then if you want to go and catch it yourself, we've got something like our nippers, which can be pumped on just about every estuary around Australia. Other than that, there's your worms and your prawns. The key when you're rigging baits is to select the best size hook to match your bait. You don't want it completely buried in the bait. You want to have adequate gape should a fish come along and grab it. And then what you want to do is adequately pin that bait so it doesn't come off when you're casting with a bit of current, and then let it move as naturally as possible when it's in your chosen fishing location. The key to hooking these fish, really let them take it. Ignore those first bumps and taps. You've got to wait for that rod to load up before you hook a fish in your bait. It's the key to successful bait fishing. There's a chunky old school brim. Cruising the flats and found well presented bait. And happily scoffed it. There'd be two rigs that have caught me more brim on bait than just about any others. And the first, very simple. Running sinker down to a swivel with about 50 centimetres of trace and then your hook of choice. Key is to use obviously the lightest sinker that you can get away with and then go and position that bait in prime place for a cruising brim. And the other rig is easily as simple as it gets and that is one hook and that's it. One simple hook to match your bait size. There's no weight added at all. It's about the most natural presentation you can find. Stick with a couple of simple rigs like that. You'll be catching all the brim you want. Bait presentation is key if you want to catch brim. At the moment, boat ramp behind me, chucking out a little bit of burley. And I've got a weightless piece of pilchard, exactly what the burley is. And all I'm doing is flick it out there, a little bit of a tidal flow, and I'm gradually just sifting and drifting this little bit of pilchard down through that burley trail, watching the line for bites. It can be as simple as that. Oh, come on, come on. This is a long way under boats and jetties, which is always where you catch them, with this structure. So often, you undo your best fish with the most lightly weighted bait that you can possibly put out there. Really lightly weighted sinkers, sometimes floats. In this case, just a hook. Fishing lightly weighted lines, five pound bite motion braid, really light leader. The beauty of your brim fishing, don't need boats to catch fish. I'm in a really handy little boat at the moment, stuck on the shore. So often with brim anglers in boats, spend their time casting to the shore to all those dark nooks and crannies that brim love to hide. There we go. That's a nice brim boat. Trick's not to rush them. Ease them in towards the net. There you have it. Simple baiting recipe of brim. Bit of burly, lightweight bait, present it. Give them something they want and they're not that fussy. You're in for a whole lot of fun.